Ben man Kevo, he gave y'all the game. He just told y'all what I've been trying to tell y'all. I've been trying to tell y'all this shit. Work on your body. Stay in shape, bro. You see what I'm saying? S somebody that got money, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with having money. But don't be one of these big old rock roller head Preacher roll neck having ass built like a damn upside down triangle looking ass nigga. I got money though, so it don't matter what. Females like, uh huh, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to get well, You better have that money with you at, at all times. Because you over here built like a goddamn. You over here built like. I don't know. You out here looking like, take off your, nigga take off his clothes, look like a hacked up chicken nugget without the breading, you feel me? You know how when you give a, a, a two-year-old a, a nugget and they barely eat it? Bite little pieces off and peel the bread off here and there and then just leave it in the box? That's what a nigga upper body be looking like when he take that shirt off. A hacked up chicken nugget without the breading. So y'all knock it off, man. You see what I'm saying? And I've been telling niggas, Bad Man Kevo said... He got tired of getting cheated on by dudes that had better bodies than him. You know what I'm saying? He said, man, I, I got the... Because cause I, I know what he did. He figured, I got the money. It's This is what everybody told me to do. And everybody want to get money. Don't get money just to impress females. Get money because it's essential. You need it out here. But for you dudes that be, I got money now. I'm straight. The world is the palm of my hands now. It ain't what you thought it was. Because females still are attracted to things that attract them. Females are still have female. Ne and now don't get me wrong. You can get cheated on. Your girl will cheat on you with a dude that got more money. Don't get me wrong. Your girl will cheat on you with a nigga with more money. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, if you keep your body in order, if you keep your body tight, and you got, you know, you, you got a cool little amount of money where you can take care of yourself, everything else will work itself out. And see, when these females get with niggas that ain't got that much money, they knew who they was getting with. They knew who they was getting with. If your baby daddy or your ex had the Ferrari or had the Lambo, go back to that nigga. It's the reason why you up here talking to me. But if he got all that, go back to him. This is gamely speaking, man. Anybody that's upset about the shit I'm saying, if it's ruffling anybody's feathers, man, I'll ruffle your shit some more, man. I'm I'm giving I'm pitching this shit to you underhand. You got all you gotta do is hit out the park. I'm putting this shit on a t ball for niggas, man. Just hit out the park. You feel me? Anybody that got a problem with I'm I'm switching gears a little bit. We are gonna come back to Batman Kevo. My sister just passed away, man. R.I.P. Tammy. R.I.P. to my big sister, man. She was a big motivation for me, man. She really motivated me. She believed in everything I did. Even when I was fucking up, my sister was right there like, man, it don't matter. And that was that's what her gift was. You see what I'm saying? Her gift was she was a beacon of light. She was motivational. She popped your collar for you. She was with you with whatever you was on. She was on it with you. If all them 20 people over there were saying you wasn't going to do this, she was the one person like, and meant it. And she meant it. It wasn't like, okay, I'm going a, I'm to a play the role like the the 10 people sent me in to kind of like interrogate them and break them down. But I'm really, no, she really was in there with you. Like, hey, them 10 people out there, look, but I fuck with you. That's how my sister was. That's how I am. It's going to live through me. You know what I'm saying? But Bad Man Kevo kept it 100 with y'all. He, he said, man, I got to buy my body done because I kept getting cheated on. By niggas that didn't have as much money as me, but they had nice bodies. I've been telling you niggas that, man. I've been talking to them blue in the face about that shit. But nigga, no, it's cool, but I live for, I can live for stack up. Okay. They gonna, yeah, females like, give me that stack. I done been around niggas that think they got a lot of money, want to get me drinks and show the girls they got money. I'd be like, hey, hey, fall out, man. Drinks on you. I might go up to the bar person. Hey, it's, yeah, it's Jenkins. Yeah, it's, I'm, yeah Jen, I'm put it on Jenkins. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm with it. Because I already know I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm with it. Go on, take all the credit for having all the money. What you don't know is girls think like dudes. A dude don't want no sloppy, built-ass, frumpy, weird, built-ass female that thinks she just going to hold her head high and act condescending because she got money. It's a lot of people that got money. And see, this is the thing. 
when you at you people gotta stop being seventy thousand nairs and sixty thousand nairs and fifty thousand nairs and acting like they didn't. Come on, man. I'm from California. I'm from an area. Where I'm from. I'm from. I, I come from an area where some legendary hustlers, niggas walking around with twenty stacks in their pocket, sixteen years old. So I don't. I don't care. I'm. 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 I'm messed up when it comes to money. My head messed up when it comes to money. So you know what I'm saying. Bam, man, Kevo gave, giving y'all the game. I know it's going to be a lot of people that act like they don't get it. Like, oh, man, no, nah, Bam, man, Kevo said, that don't apply to me. Bam, man, Kevo, you got to get there. I, even though I'm out here built like a, like, even though I'm out here crazy, built crazy. And I'm not knocking people that's built crazy. It's some dudes that's built kind of, you know, kind of fluffy, but they ain't got this crazy ass attitude. And see, what you don't know is, Women be looking for that. Okay, this nigga over here looking like built like a hacked up chicken nugget without the breading. When this nigga take his shirt off, this nigga look like, a, you know what I'm saying? A hacked up chicken nugget. This nigga body look like a chicken nugget that was dipped in water for three days and then we pulled it out. That's what this nigga upper body look like. But this nigga think he the shit because he got money. People ain't dumb. You know what I'm saying? I done seen so I worked at a barbershop, bro, for years. So I done seen rich niggas getting cheated on with a regular nigga. I done seen it the other way too. Regular niggas getting cheated on by I saw, so, but I done seen that enough to say to make me say, oh well that ain't that ain't that. Now if you ugly, then you just ugly. And I, here's some advice. If you ugly, get your money. If you ugly, get your money. I'm I'm gonna just start keeping 100. But if you never be like, nah, man, Batman Kevo kept it real, and I appreciate that, cause that, cause niggas need to hear that. Batman Kevo say, I got cheated on, man. But academics say, man, what, what you mean, like? But you have money and stuff. I, I know, but I mean, females are not vocal about how they like nice built dudes. Yeah, you got money, but when you take off your shirt, I don't even want to. If you take off your shirt and you over there, and I'm right here, I don't even want to look over there while your shirt is off. I don't, I'm like this. I know you over there with your shirt off, but I don't want to see that. I don't want to ruin my night. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. But it's cool though. I, I might do a no look tuck. Where you? Where you at? All right, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that, that's. I feel all right. But I don't want to ruin the night by looking at you. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, and not a knock against dudes that's that's built like that. It's just a knock against dudes that that's built like that that think everything all right. Cause Kevin Batman Kevo telling y'all, and I'm not hating. I know people are like, man, this nigga, he thinks just cause he's swole that he could talk about. Nah, bro. I mean, my my chicken ain't tremendous, but it ain't bad at all. But my claim to fame, I've been on this kind of hype. This the hype I've been on. I'm a personal trainer. This is what I've been on, and I and shit for to go crazy here in a second. Rest in peace to my sister Tammy. Rest in peace to my sister Tammy. And when I go, I'm not going to be as frantic about it. I ain't going to be as scared about it. Because you know who waiting on me at the pearly gates? You know who waiting to see me again? My big sis. You feel me? So, I'm going to tell the people on earth, man, it was good. It was, gr it was good. But I got to go join my big sis, man. This is how it's going to go. I'm not trying to speak it into existence. I'm just saying that I'm not as scared of the idea of death no more because I know I'm going to be reunited with my sister. Tammy, I love you. But let Bam Man Kevo get y'all the game, man. And if y'all think just because y'all got money and just because you could buy bottles and stun and pull up valet and all that, that everything is all good. It's a little nigga around there built just like me that can't get in VIP, can't get no valet, might not even came with a car. That's got hella game about itself and willing to knock your girl. Quit playing.